Good morning, guys. Oh, I just woke up. It's June 1st, it's 8 a.m. And today is my first day at my very new job. I got a job as a RN hospice nurse admissions. And this is my very first job as an RN. I'm so excited to get started. Um, I have so much to talk about this position, how I got the job, and it all happened so fast. like the onboarding process i'm just gonna be going into the office doing some paperwork meeting my um meeting some people i'm not even sure what's gonna be going on today but that's what i'm gonna be doing and then throughout the week i don't even know i don't even know what's gonna be happening but i'm so excited i'm so excited to start like my first job as an rn and I'm gonna take you guys through it. I'm gonna take you guys and show you guys what it is to be a hospice RN, admissions nurse as a new graduate. So it's a little scary, but also at the same time, very exciting. Hey guys, I am back from my first day, from my first job, my first job, my first job as an RN. So basically today, what I did was a lot of onboarding stuff, signing papers, HR, payroll, and getting my access to all of the stuff that I need access to, such as like the EMR system. And I'm out of breath, I walked upstairs. Um, and just signing a lot of paperwork, getting my tablet, getting my iPhone that I need for work um, in order to be able to connect with my colleagues, for patients, um, for doctors, all that stuff. So I'm gonna, so I did today, there's some module stuff that I have to do for work, which is like every time you, need, you get a new job in the medical field or like in the hospital or something like that as a nurse or someone or some other position in a hospital, you do a lot of modules. It's like safety stuff, stuff about work, things like that. And I'm gonna be doing that for the rest of the day today. So before I do all of that, I did go grocery shopping, so I'm going to put my groceries away and at the same time talk to you guys about how I got the job, when I applied, and all that stuff. So basically, so basically what happened was, yeah, sorry, everything's a mess, I'm still like getting everything ready, but basically what happened was that the place I was working at as a student pandemic nurse, they started reducing our hours and... My contract was about to end and I didn't want to be left in a dust where they're like, oh, sorry, we don't need you guys anymore, which is what they did the first time and then be left with no job because I didn't want that. So 2 a.m. in the morning, I was looking up jobs because I was freaking out. I'm like, if I don't have a job, I don't know what I'm going to do. If I want to apply for new guide programs, it's not going to be till fall of this year, winter. So it's going to take a couple months. So I said, you know what? I'm going to start applying, see where that gets me, see if I'm able to land a job. And a lot of the positions I was looking for was like rehab centers, outpatient centers, um, surgical centers I applied to, home health agencies, hospice agencies. 2 a.m. Okay. I was applying around 2 a.m. just on Indeed, like click, 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 apply, 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 all that stuff applied to a couple places and then next day I had work and literally like at 10 before lunchtime I had maybe three voicemails asking me to come in for interviews and I was like okay wait I applied to so many places I don't even know who's calling me what the position is for I called them back um, during my lunchtime and I was able to schedule two interviews later that week and I think that was like on Monday I applied well, like Monday night I applied I had two interviews set up for Thursday and those two interviews I had one of them was for to do an RN admissions hospice and the other one is a home health agency and for the first interview I had which was for the hospice RN's admission the interview the people who interviewed me just sounded so nice so supportive it felt like an environment that i was like okay i would love to work here and it was an in-person interview and i really like the people who interviewed me they were just people that i'm like i'm gonna be able to get along with people and i, I used to work in very horrible oh that's my fridge i 
used to work in environments where let me close it real quick. I used to work in environments that was toxic. I, I hated going to work. It was just taxing just to go in and so stressful and i was like honestly the only place that i'd love to be able to work in is somewhere that i'd enjoy working and that was one of the things that i made sure that you know i got or found an environment in the environment was supportive they were so eager to teach me and those that's one of the things that i love is being able to have a mentor people who would love to teach me you know like feeling like i'm not a hassle to them because i am a new grad so this is my very first iron position so that was something very helpful and the hours for that one would be like 11 to 7 monday to friday i would be able to work from home go to a patient start do an admin and i can come home go to the office and chart and i was like what i can i can go home as an rn and chart like that to me was something that was like made me so interested in it after i did that interview that same day i had an interview for a hospital for a home health agency and that one just scared me because the one when i did my first interview with the hospice they're like are you scared and i'm like no like doing these job duties is something that i actually feel comfortable with and they made me feel comfortable like i was going to be supported versus the home health agency they're like you're going to be on salary if you're unable to do an iv what are you going to do because you're by yourself you're not going to have anyone with you and with home health it's a lot more different because you have to do a lot of skill stuff that which i wasn't comfortable with ivs g-tubes vans trachs and that sounded scary to me as a new grad going into that with little to no experience and being able to do everything on my own i was like hmm that sounded scary to me that was something that i wasn't comfortable with and i was like i didn't know you know i was like hmm, maybe i'm not interested in it and then right after the interview she's like okay i'm gonna schedule you for orientation i needed a commitment of one year the hours were like four days one week six days the other week and i was like no i don't like that i had to meet a quota each week and that was something i didn't want to do i'm like oh my god that just sounded way more stressful okay actually oh, i just need this and so that sounded stressful and so i was like mm, i don't think i want to do that and so i took the bullet decided to apply for hospice rn because it just seemed like to me something i really wanted to do and if i do want to get acute clinical care experience i can do that later on um and at the moment I don't know. I don't know where it's going to take me. I don't know if I'm going to like being a hospice nurse. I like the hours. I like the flexibility. I like the fact that I can go home and chart. So that sounds amazing to me and I'm excited to start. So tomorrow I'm going to be sitting down with someone who's going to go over more stuff with me, you know, in regards to my position. Then hopefully I can get on the field and do some field work um, with this job. So I'm excited. That is how I got the job. Keep your mind open. Look at the flexibility. No, look at the flexibility. Keep your mind open. And a lot of times when I told people like, oh yeah, I'm going to do hospice. They're like, oh, why aren't you going to do like hospital stuff? And I'm like, I don't know. What if I love this? What if I don't? And the thing that I like about um, the job is that there wasn't any commitments versus other places that were like, you need a one-year commitment because, and I'm like, I what if I hate it? And I want to be able to have the choice to be able to leave. I mean, you can leave no matter what with a job, but the fact that this company said they need a one-year commitment kind of shows that they have a big turnover rate, and, and meaning like a lot of people end up leaving the job. Um, a, a low retention rate, if that is what makes sense. Um, so that one is a lot more self-motivated and it's just, I don't know, we'll see. So if you guys don't know what hospice is, it's actually providing comfort care so to patients who are dying you're gonna be the one to well i'm gonna be the one to admit them and don't really i mean i have an idea of what it means but i mean if you're someone who doesn't know what that is um we'll find out together <laughs> on this journey because hospice is something that you don't learn a lot about in nursing school basically you only go over hospice and palliative care like a chapter or two you don't really learn a lot about end of life care or what a hospice nurse does a lot of the stuff you learn are like acute acute diseases and a lot of that stuff not a lot of people that are dying and what to do with that and dealing with family grief and all that stuff but again we're gonna go through it together i'm gonna take you guys on this week of my very first week of my job as an rn hospice nurse so if that is something that you guys would love to see stay watching